It's that time once again for the monthly eBay sales report. Let's check it out. What's going on? 22 here with my monthly eBay sales report for the month of September. Let's check out the things that I sold, bought, and am putting up for sale. Starting off with the things that I sold, I sold two books to the same person on September 1st, and that is it throughout the entire month. However, it was probably one of the most special sales that I've ever had. Special shout out to the buyer of that. I know his name. I just don't know that he wants me to give it out and stuff like that. Thank you, sir. I greatly appreciate you, and I appreciate your business. I'm glad you enjoyed the books. So, and I appreciate you supporting me on YouTube as well. That's super awesome. And that's what makes this so special to me. The books that were bought were this Batman number 36 and Batman 37. Now these are like the date issues. The story in these two issues are the super friends is what the title of it is. But you know, 37 is considered the date issue. It's a really fun issue where like Superman and Lois go out on a date with Bruce and Selena and they kind of swap attire as far as like who they're going dressed up as and stuff. It was a really fun issue, honestly. For me to not like Tom King, I really did like this issue. Sold these for $10 a piece plus shipping. Glad that these got out to you, sir. And uh, thank you so much for your support. Greatly appreciate you. On to the things that I bought. And honestly, I didn't really buy that much this month. That month, September anyways. Just got my Bruce first purchase for September in. Super excited about it. Can't wait to show y'all those. But for right now... Let's check out the ones that I got for September. Let's start out with some Silver Age Strange Adventures number 211. As we all know, I'm sitting there trying to collect my Dead Man run in Strange Adventures. And this was part of it. Awesome book. Glad to have it in the collection. Gets me one step closer to being where I want to be with that series. All these books came from the same seller on eBay, so I'll have their information linked below. They did a great job with packaging and sending me my books and stuff like that, so really excited and really happy with them. Had really good pricing as well. Uh, another book that I purchased from them was this Demon number 14. Another awesome book to add to my Demon run. Uh, shout out to Bottom Tier Collector over there on YouTube and Instagram. Go check him out. Link will be down below in the description. He is also a Demon fan as well. He's working on some other runs or more runs than I am of the Demon. I am solely working just on Volume 1. Geek Collector also had this issue right here, which is the Demon number 2. This is one that was really difficult for me to find in the grade that I would really like. And so I was really happy to pick this one up. It uh, presents really nice, really well, and was a really good price. Puts me one step closer. On to the things that I am putting up for sale. With it being October, uh, we're getting into that season of people buying things for Christmas and gifts and whatnot like that. I figure now is a good time for me to go ahead and start putting up groups or runs of books. So I went through the, some of the ones that I was wanting to sell and stuff like that. And I uh, picked out a few that I want to definitely go ahead and start putting up. Let's start off with this Thor and Loki, the 10th Realm series. All right, so this is a complete run of this. Uh, this is an Original Sins tie-in. Here's issue one right here. Now, this is, honestly, I kind of want to give this a read. I never read it before, and but Jason Aaron wrote this. And his run on Thor was actually really good. And so I'm like, am I missing out by not reading this? Or, you know, what's the case? What's the deal there? Also, let's go ahead and show y'all number two as well, because this is connecting covers. Super cool. Connecting Angela cover right there. The other cool thing about this Jason Aaron run is the cover artists on the rest of these that I had bought or Isan Ribic, and I absolutely love his work. Just check out that amazing cover. He did the work on issue four. As well. He did the work on a lot of these covers, but I picked up issue four and issue five. On to something that is not as popular. However, I had several that were in a row, so I figured why not go ahead and put them up. Maybe somebody can get a good deal on them and enjoy them because I've yet to read them. So, we've got Shield number two. This was just a really cool cover. 
Uh, I'm not sure if that's the Infinity Gauntlet. I think it looks like it is, but I'm not positive on that. But it was just a really cool cover. This is also written by Mark Wade, so I've enjoyed some of his stuff as well. Here's issue three. Issue four, I really like this cover. I don't know if this is... I think there was a time in Marvel Comics when the Invisible Woman actually worked for S.H.I.E.L.D., and so I'm kind of wondering if this is part of that time period. It's almost like Marvel disbanded the, fa disbanded the Fantastic Four at some point in time because they didn't have, like, the, the movie rights to them or whatever, so they didn't do a whole lot of, like, comics with them. So, issue number five... Then we're going to jump all the way to issue number 11. Just going to throw this in there because it's part of that same volume. Just a reminder, you'll be able to find all these on my eBay store at 22 underscore comics on eBay. And of course, you can hit me up on Instagram at 22 underscore comics to get an even better deal. Just DM me there. We can talk, chit chat and stuff like that and talk about the books and uh, see what kind of a better deal I can do for you on Instagram. So on to the next lot that I have. I have an Avengers lot right here, starting out with number 25. These are Avengers vs. X-Men tie-ins with some amazing covers. This is written by Michael Bendis. This is issue 26. I'll also have like conditions of all these books as well, like in my description and whatnot on eBay. This is issue 27, and uh, I make tags for most all my books as well, just so I can keep up with, you know, the grade they are and stuff like that. Issue 28, awesome Red Hulk cover. Issue 29. Finish out the lot, the run with issue 30. Since we're talking about Avengers, let's just keep on talking about them. And I have this new Avengers lot right here, a run of 25 to 30, all Avengers versus X-Men tie-in books as well. So here's issue number 25. Again, written by Michael Bendis. Here's issue number 24. I showed them out of order, but that's fine. Here's issue 26. So it's a run 24 to 30. Here's issue 27. Issue 28. 29. Finishing out with 30, which I think is an awesome, like, new Defenders, uh, maybe even like a Heroes for Hire kind of, like, just Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist cover right there. Really cool. That is it for my eBay comic sales report. Thank y'all so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you're interested in any of these lots, these runs, or any of the other books that I have up on eBay, please hit me up on Instagram. You'll get a much better deal and maybe even be able to bundle up some more stuff. Again, thank y'all so much for watching. You can find me on Instagram at eBay at 22 underscore comics. You can also find me on a podcast every Monday, new episodes called Comically Comics Podcast. Wherever you listen to podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Remember, Comically Comics Podcast. Once again, thank y'all so much for watching. And as always, y'all have a good one. <laughs>